So this is a port of VCV Rack running in a web browser. Uh, this web browser is Firefox, and this port is called Cardinal. When you start it up, it will look like this. You'll have a uh, introduction window. And as soon as I dismiss this window, this basic patch will start playing. So I don't actually want this to be playing right now. So I'm going to clear it out. To clear it out, I'm going to the file menu. I'm going to press on that menu and then I'm going to click on new. When I click on new, it gives me this default patch, uh, which is not playing, which is nice. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to even delete this. So there's a couple of different ways to delete modules. Uh, one of the easiest ways is to drag select. So I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag. And as I drag, it creates this red box. And I'm just going to highlight a few of those modules and I'm going to hit the delete key. Another way to delete is to right click on a module, which opens up a context menu and you can see there's a delete option. So I'm going to press that. Of course, there's lots of other things as well. And yet another way is to uh, hit control A and select that way. And then again, hit the delete key. So I've now cleared out all the modules. So that's how you delete modules, which is a useful thing to know. Now we're going to add a module to make our drone patch. To add a module, the easiest way is to right click on a blank space. And when you do that, a search uh, window will appear. So I'm going to right click. And this is my search window. There are I think about a thousand modules preloaded in Cardinal. You can search for them uh, using the search box up here. You can also search using uh, the brand or the tag, uh, so like the function of the module. That's all fine. Uh, let's just use the name to start off with. So we want an oscillator, so I'm going to type OSC. And as you can see, there are many modules that match. So this will be a challenge for you uh, finding the module that I'm talking about or that you're uh, directed to find is sometimes going to be a challenge. So in this case, I'm just going to show you. So here is uh, the VCO that we want to use. You can see that as I mouse over it, there's a little context menu that gives you information about it. Uh, it's a VCO, it's made by VCV, it is a voltage controlled oscillator. So to select it, I'm just going to left click on it. When I left click on it, it drops onto the workspace. And now I have a, a nice module I can do things with. Now, the way that this virtual modular uh, setup works, in order to get sound out of it into your speakers, you need another module, uh, which is just an audio interface module. So I'm going to right click again, and I'm going to type audio. And uh, that was pretty easy because the first thing that popped up here is Cardinal host audio. So this module is audio two, it's made by distro. So that works for us. So I'm going to left click on it. And now I've got these two modules. So let's talk about some other things that you do with these modules. So if I want to move these modules around, I would uh, left click on the module and drag. So this is me left clicking and dragging. If I move it across another module, it uh, intelligently swaps over it. So it keeps the module that I'm not messing with in place, which is quite nice. So that's how we move modules around. Now uh, let's hook these two modules together. So this is a voltage controlled oscillator. It has uh, these different outputs. Notice as I mouse over each output, it tells me what it is. This is not an output. This is volt per octave uh, pitch input. You can see that it's telling me that it's an input. So this is a handy way of knowing what your inputs and outputs are. So let's begin with a sine wave. So to create a patch cable in uh, the system, 
I'm going to left click and drag. When I left click and drag, it creates a cable and uh, the one end is free, right? That's the end I'm going to plug into something else. And in this case, I'm going to plug it into the number one input of my host audio. So now you hear a tone. It's uh, just gonna keep doing that. I guess I'll turn it down a little bit, right? Um, so you can see here that uh, I've got two bars on my audio, so it's copied my left signal. If I wanted to, I could actually create two signals off the same uh, wave. So this is how you stack cables, which can be very useful. So this time I'm going to start on the host audio side, and I'm going to drag a cable, and I can pop it right on top of the side wave. So basically, I've split uh, cables. So this is very convenient. How do I remove a cable? To remove a cable, I just click on one end of the cable, I drag it out off into space somewhere, and I let go. So that's how you delete a cable. So now we know how to add cables, and we know how to delete cables. Uh, next thing is to play with controls. You already saw me play with this level control. So let me tell you what I did. I left clicked and I dragged. And you can see that uh, when I did that, Firefox uh, did a little pop-up message at the top, right? If you're using Chrome, you may get a message across the top, and when you drag, nothing happens. Uh, there are two ways you can deal with that. One is to hold down the escape key and drag. The other way is to come over to view and here where it says lock cursor while dragging, uncheck that if you were in Chrome. If you're in Firefox, you don't need to do that at all. So only uncheck this if you're in Chrome, it'll make your life uh, easier. So that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully you should uh, be able to manipulate things and hear some sounds at this point. This is a basic drone patch and we will keep adding to it as we go.